Um, so yesterday I encouraged you guys to do the, the property ones and the three different types of formula ones. Remember, on the test, I will give you the three formulas just like this, but I'm not going to tell you which one to use when. Okay, so you have to be able to read the problem and know where to plug numbers in and how to put it in your calculator and then get your answer. And don't forget, these are money problems, so if you have cents, you always want to round to two decimal places. Okay, so that's because it's money. All right, so that just leaves all the different equations. So these are the ones that we always have the most questions on. And when I say always, it's because when we did test 8.1 to 8.3, it was almost identical to this. It just wasn't natural logs. It was regular logs with numbers as bases. This is all natural logs. But solving them is almost identical to how we solved them on the last test. So I'm going to write on a piece of paper because my handwriting's too big to fit on that fork sheet. Okay, so 7 through 11 are exponential functions. What an exponential function is, is a base with an exponent that has the variable. So you're, the letter you're solving for, B, X, X, V, M, whatever the letter is, is in the power. That's a problem. We want it down on the ground so we can say X equals something as our final step. So what, anytime you have an exponential function, you first want to do what I called clean up the problem if it needs any cleanup. So let me explain. In 7 and 8, you have a base e to a power of blah, blah, blah. Who cares what it is, okay? There's nothing else on the left-hand side of the equation. No cleanup necessary for either of those. Look at number nine. Before I start the problem, I would have to move this minus four to the other side by adding four. This one, I would add 4.7. This one, I would add 10. So whatever's hanging out on the left-hand side, before you do anything, it has to move, okay? As I said, number seven doesn't have anything on the left-hand side to, to um, clean up or move. So we start by giving both sides a natural log. We're creating an equation that has logs in it so we can use the properties of logs, okay? So I give both sides a natural log. And why did I use natural log instead of log? Simply because this was an E. You would have seen, I just want to make a point, you would have seen a problem just like this last test. You would have said, is there any cleanup to do? No, I'm ready to take the log of both sides. Since this is a number, any number, you would have given both sides a log instead of a natural log. That's the only difference in these problems, okay? So that was what we were doing before. Because it's an E, it's a natural log. Because it's a natural log, I'm allowed to use the properties of logs and bring the B minus 8 down in front. We learned that natural log E equals 1. You can just cancel it out. That's going to happen in all of those problems, 7 through 11. Natural log E is just 1, because it's a base E and an E there. That equals 1. So you're just left with this. Okay. Now, I'm going to do natural log 21 in my calculator, and then I'm going to add 8 to it, okay? So, okay, so remember where your LN button is, LN 21, hit enter. So I have B minus 8 equals 3.045. We're going to keep rounding out to three decimal places. Oh, no, we're doing four, aren't we? Hundreds, thousands. Um, what have we been doing? Yeah, yeah so that would be, often. sorry, sorry, sorry. So that would be 3.0445, four decimal places. But I'm just going to leave it on my screen because I still have to add eight to it. That's not my final answer. So once I add eight to it, now I have my final answer of Rounding matters. Showing your steps matter. A lot of you, if I don't, if you don't mind Nate, me using you as an example, when Nate took his test, he was like, I did terrible on this test. And then he got like a B, I think, right? And he was surprised. You have to remember, I fight for you, okay? I'm not just like, it's wrong, wrong, wrong. I look for places I can give you credit. 
You know what I mean? So, you know, the whole problem isn't wrong. If a bunch of steps are right, I can give you points for that. So showing your work so I can read it is important that I can give you credit, okay? Um, stop me if I go too fast or if you have a question on any of my steps, okay? Number eight is just like this one. There's no cleanup. There's nothing on this side of the equation that I have to move. So I'm going to go right into giving both sides a natural log, which allows, which allows us to bring our power down in front. So I have m minus 8.6 times natural log e equals natural log 31. Remember, natural log E equals one. You can just get rid of it. It's just mucking up your problem. So I'm gonna do natural log 31, and then I'm, let's just do this all in one step. And then we're gonna add 8.6 to it. So I'm gonna put natural log 31 on my calculator and then add 8.6. We can do those two steps in one. So natural log 31, if you're going to do it all at once, though, don't forget to close your parentheses before you add the 8.6. That's really important. Guys, right, so let's put our phones down. Plus 8.6 gives me approximately 12.0340. Okay? The 9 tells, wait, let me go back. 1, 2, 3, 4. The 8 tells the 9 to go up to a 10. 8 is the boss of the 9, tells it to go up to a 10, carry the 1. So basically 39 became 40. And you could leave that 0 off and still be fine. You don't have to put the 0 there. Okay? All right. 9, e to the x plus 6 minus 4 equals 81. This one, notice, is different from 7 and 8 because it's got that minus 4 there. Before we start the problem, before we do the log part of the problem, we have to get that to the other side. Now, number 9 is exactly where 7 and 8 were when we started. We're going to take the log of both sides. Since it's a base E, I'll use natural log. Don't forget to give it to both sides. Now that it's a log problem, we can bring the x plus 6 on down. Cancel out that natural log e. We don't need it. So all that's left is x plus 6 equals natural log of 85. So we're going to do natural log of 85 and then subtract 6 from it. Okay? Natural log 85, closing my parentheses, or hit enter, either one, but make sure you don't just put the minus 6 under that, in that parentheses. And you get negative... 1.5573. The 4 is the boss of the 3. The 4 tells the 3 to stay the same. Okay. Let's do number 10. And I'm actually going to change number 11 because I noticed I don't I don't see a certain type on here that I want to do. So don't write don't work on number 11 ahead of me. And if you already did it. You're just going to do it again with me so you can see. I don't know if it's on the test, but I'll, I'll explain more in a second. Okay, so number 10, does this one have any cleanup, guys? Do we have to do anything to, before we take the natural log? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to add 4.7 to both sides. Guys, just doing that is going to get you a point, okay? Knowing that, even if you don't know where to go from there, leaving a question blank is the worst thing you can do. I can't, there's no way for me to give you any points on a blank problem. All right, so now it's cleaned up, and I can give both sides a natural log. Okay. 
Now that it's a log problem, I can use my properties, bring down the exponent. I mean, you guys can see these are pretty repetitive. Once you realize, oh, this is all we're doing, it's the same thing really over and over again, right? The natural log E goes away. And so I have V plus eight equals natural <coughs> log of 17.7. .7. So let me go ahead and combine those two steps. So I'll have natural log, natural log of 17.7, .7, close my parentheses, minus 8 equals negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 5.1264. The 3 is the boss of the 4 and it tells it to stay the same. Okay. I'm going to change number 11, change it with me, so rewrite this one, put a 2 in front of the E. Okay, there's clearly cleanup here. There's too many people hanging around the E. We have to move all of them to the other side. So just like with equations, we always add or subtract first. So it's still, we're going to add 10 to both sides. The E is still not by itself. Any ideas of how we get rid of the 2? Divide by 2. Yep, just divide by 2. Divide this side by 2. Divide this side by 2. And we get e to the x plus 7 equals 85.2 divided by 2 is 42.6. So we had to do these two steps before we could even get to the point where we were, where we started in 7 and 8. Okay? So now that the e is by itself, we will give both sides a natural log. Bring that power on down. Natural log E is just 1. So we have x plus 7 equals natural log of 42.6. So we would subtract 7 from both sides. Okay, so let's put this in our calculator. So I have natural log of 42.6, close my parentheses, minus 7. Round to four places, negative 3.248. The 4 is the boss of the 1, and it tells it to stay the same. Okay, so do we feel... If we didn't feel good about them before or whatever, if we good on 7 through 11, you're going to have a few of those on your test tomorrow. You know it. You know how to do them now. Nobody has any questions for me about those? Okay, let's do the last type. Notice what's different in these problems is there's a log in the problem. Whenever your equation starts with log in the problem, you're going to get rid of it by writing this log in its other form. Guys, what's the base of a natural log? What's the base? E. There's an E right here. So you're doing E to the 7th equals 5x plus 9. E to the 7th equals 5x plus 9. And the rest is just solving an equation. E to the power of something is above the natural log button. So you hit second natural log, and you can see right on your screen, you hit E to a power. We're going to put 7 in. Okay. 
then I'm going to subtract 9. But look, I just, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> just leave it on your screen. That's what's one of the benefits of these calculators. You can see your work, okay? So I have that answer there. If I just hit minus 9 right there, it's going to subtract 9 from that answer. It's already on my screen. I don't have to type it in again, okay? And I hit enter, and I get 1087.6332. And then, again, just hit divided by 5, right? Divide by 5, divide by 5, and then round. Okay, 13, same idea. If you see the word log in your problem, you want to take it out by writing your log in its other form. The base is E to that loner on the other side equals 2A. E to the fourth equals 2 e to the fourth the five is the boss of the one tells the one to go up divide by two divide by two Seven pounds from zero to go up. And that would be the answer. Last one. Again, base E. You never see it there, we just know it's there. E to the negative 3 equals R plus 7. E to the negative 3 gets me 0 0.0498. So watch your rounding, clean up those exponential functions if necessary. Questions for me? I'm going to put the key back up for the 1 through 6 and 15 through 17 but that I had up yesterday. There was a few people that were absent yesterday, so I want to give them a chance to see that while I check your homework. So, let me put this up. Everybody done writing this? So those are the ones I didn't go over. Remember, you'll get the formulas, just not um, what um, I go with. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a minute to find these two. You might have written on your own. I don't need the notes, I just need the homework. 